Hello everyone, welcome back to Mad About Design. In this tutorial, I am going to show you exactly how to design this axial turbine wheel using Autodesk Fusion 360. Watch full tutorial to get all the information regarding the dimensions and the commands I used in this tutorial. Now, without wasting time, let's get into it. First, create a new design by going to File, Select New Design. The unit I am going to use in this tutorial is millimeter. Create a new sketch on the front plane. Go to Straight Line command. and turn on this construction feature. Select the origin as the first point of the straight line. Give it a length of 35 millimeter and an angle of 7 degree with respect to the x axis in downward direction. Turn off the construction feature. Arrange these dimensions so that we can have a clear view of our sketch. Now go to Fit Point Spline. Under Spline, Fit Point Spline. Select the first point on the origin. Second point anywhere here and the third point on this point done press escape and arrange this point little bit as follows now draw another same curve using the feet point spline select the first point here second point below it and the third point here done as you can see these curves are not constrained so that they can easily move we need to provide some dimensions so press d to go to sketch dimension command select the origin and this point Provide a horizontal distance between them as 14 millimeter. Repeat the same thing for this point and the origin. Distance 14 millimeter. Now again select this point and this inclined line. Provide a distance between them as 5 millimeter. Repeat the same thing for this point and this construction line. Provide a distance of 10 millimeter. Press enter. Here is our first sketch ready. Finish sketch. Now I am going to construct an offset plane. Select the front plane, drag it in this way up to a distance of minus 40 millimeter. Press enter. I am going to create a new sketch on this plane. So select this plane and Create a new sketch on it. Again, go to straight line command. Turn on the construction feature. Select the first point here. And for the second point, give it a length of 50 millimeter, followed by an angle of 
थर्टी डिग्री प्रेस सेंटर टर्न ऑफ द कंस्ट्रक्शन फीचर दिस टाइम आई एम गोइंग टू यूज आर्क थ्री पॉइंट आर्क टू ड्रॉ द प्रोफाइल्स सो अंडर आर्क गो टू थ्री पॉइंट आर्क सिलेक्ट द फर्स्ट पॉइंट हेयर एंड पॉइंट हेयर एंड गिव इट एनी रेडियस आई एम गोइंग टू स्पेसिफाई द रेडियस लेटर ड्रो एन अदर आर्क यूजिंग द सेम मैथड डन प्रेस डी टू गो टू स्केच डायमेंशन कमांड Select this arc and give it a radius of sixty-five millimeter. Select this arc and give it a radius of forty-five millimeter. Done. Our second sketch is ready. So finish sketch. Here we have got our two profiles, which will be used for creating the first blade of our axial turbine. Okay. So under create, go to loft. Select the first profile as this one. and the second profile as this one here is the first blade of our turbine wheel click okay now i am going to rotate this blade at an angle of 90 degree so press m to go to move command move object bodies select this body and for the pivot point turn on the visibility of the origin select this origin point click on done now rotate it at an angle of 90 degree press enter hide the origin now i am going to provide some fillets on this sharp edges so press f to go to fillet command or you can go to fillet from here select these two edges and fillet them up to a radius of 0.2 mm press enter Here is our first blade ready. Now I am going to create a new sketch on the top plane. So create a new sketch. Select the top plane. Go to center dia circle. Select the center as the origin. and provide a diameter of 30 mm followed by a concentric circle of diameter 90 mm press enter finish sketch go to extrude command select this outer profile drag it downward up to minus 30 mm or make it minus 35 mm change the operation to new body click okay
Now we need to move our blade in outward direction. So press M to go to move command. Select the blade. And for the pivot point, select the top surface of the cylindrical body. Done. Now you can move our blade easily in outward direction. Up to minus 42 seems great so done now i'm going to remove the top surface using the shell command so under modify go to shell select the top surface and for the inside thickness provide a thickness of 7 mm it looks great so click ok it's time to create pattern for our blade so under create go to pattern and select circular pattern object type bodies for the object select the blade and for the axis select this circle number of quantity 30 and click ok it's time to join them all so under modify go to combine for the target body select the cylindrical body and for all the tool bodies select all bodies that means all our blades operation join click ok so here is our axial turbine almost ready let's provide some uh, fillet on this sharp edges so select all of them under modify go to fillet fillet them up to a radius of 0.2 millimeter it looks great here is our axial turbine wheel ready. I hope you guys have learned something new in this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe to us and turn on the bell notification so that you won't miss any of our new tutorials. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial.